2015 was yet another busy year for our teams. From Marksman DLC in April through to Nexus Update in December, we've seen a number of launches, announcements, and platform updates. With that in mind, we'd like to offer up a brief retrospective of our work and sketch out some of the development we've lined up for Armour 3 in 2016. Since we're aiming to keep things fairly concise, we'll take a look at just 10 favourite bits of last year's splendid progress, covering new content, gameplay, and much more besides. The standout Marksman DLC feature, weapon stabilisation was an engine-driven solution to a tricky design problem, resting or deploying pretty much any official or custom-created weapon on any terrain or object. Alongside some richly detailed rifles, complete with new accessories, sounds and animations, creating Marksman DLC's premium weapons afforded the opportunity to add a new class of machine gun. The gradual improvement of our AI has been ongoing since launch, but with suppression we introduced an important new feature, which tied together a lot of our previous foundation work. Introduced as an experimental multiplayer mode in Marksman DLC, Endgame was later fleshed out in Nexus Update. It's helped us to create useful new platform systems and validate network optimizations. In March, we were happy to wrap up the Make Armor Not War competition, announcing the winners and runners-up, and sharing half a million euros across a variety of categories. Although the Armor 3 Tools package enjoyed various additions, Terrain Processor stands out as a welcome utility, which fills the gap between geographic data and our proprietary terrain editing pipelines. In June, the PC gaming show at E3 was a fantastic opportunity for us to reveal Tanoa, our next terrain and undoubted centerpiece of this year's expansion, Armor 3 Apex. Enabling mod makers to define dependencies via Steam Workshop was an important step on the path to improving the maintenance of custom content and simplifying the process of joining modded multiplayer servers. The so-called foundation release of our Armour 3 unit's web service enables players to quickly and easily find like-minded folk from the big variety of community groups and playstyles out there. Endgame Tournament was a fine way to round off the year, a chance to battle some community groups and a splendid opportunity to showcase new things like spectator mode. Of course, there's much more we could dig into. To get a sense of it all, check out a few 2015 sit reps. Fair warning though, there are 48 of them. So, looking ahead to 2016, we've got a lot more ground to cover. Once again, let's pick out just a few of the things that we're most looking forward to. Without doubt, the standout feature of the forthcoming Eden update is a purpose-built 3D scenario editor. Following a few months of dev branch testing and feedback, it's almost ready for its official release. Another hotly anticipated feature already live on DevBranch is our launcher-based server browser. Alongside advanced filtering options, the detection and automatic download of dependent mods greatly simplifies joining multiplayer games. 2015 introduced great improvements to audio fidelity, and that's set to continue this year. A new approach to audio configuration will enable more authentic features and produce a richer soundscape. Originally scheduled for Eden update, but now targeting Armour 3 Apex, our visual update aims to overhaul the game lighting configuration and introduce new C-Shader and screen space reflections tech. A variety of usability improvements are in store for 2016. Switching weapons, interacting with objects, configuring game difficulty and more, our objective is to address some long-standing UX needs. We're looking forward to extending Armour 3 units. We aim to introduce event organization, integrate parts of the service in-game, and make jumping into multiplayer quicker and easier than ever. We want to continue making scripted systems and mods perform better and do more, working together with our community, further script command improvements, additions and optimizations are on the horizon. Several scripted multiplayer systems, such as Revive and Dynamic Groups, were prototyped last year. As we head towards Apex, together with optimization, we hope to extend and finalize their functionality. The introduction of new vehicle classes, namely light strike vehicles and VTOL aircraft, stands to create some fun new gameplay opportunities and provide new ways of exploring our large terrains. Speaking of terrains, our final item we consider to be the crown jewels of Armour 3 Apex. 100 square kilometers of South Pacific Archipelago and your next battlefield, it's Tanoa. Of course, we've only scratched the surface of our plans here, which we'll flesh out as we close in on future milestones, when we'll have a lot more to reveal. As always, we're thankful for our team's creativity and dedication. Thanks too, of course, to our community and players, which we are proud to see exceed 2 million last year. 
Overall, 2015 has been a vital staging point, and now we've got high hopes and big ambitions for 2016. We hope you'll join us on the road to Armour 3 Apex. Bye for now.